Hi, welcome back to my Tamiya Ford Ranger strip down and rebuild project. Uh, this is just a quick update. Last video was stripping down and cleaning the front end. Recently, I've just stripped down the back end and ordered more parts uh, to finish it off. Some bits have arrived, some bits are kind of on their way. So the next video is gonna be actually properly building it. Um, so yeah, came out really good. Um, I ended up using some of this stuff actually. I had some Celis silicon remover because um, there was silicon everywhere where it didn't need to be. It was all over the motor, all over the inside, the motor housing, just about covered everywhere, even on the inside of these plastic parts here. And that stuff worked really well. Got it off uh, a treat. The interestingly found out why the little connecting rod, this is the new one, was split. Uh, and I've got a little demo here because according to the manual, this torsion bar, if you can probably see here, that's in position, it's straight down, needs to be kind of over here. And you have to actually pre-tension it. So you've got to take some tension out of that spring before you try and connect it up. And neither of those rods have been pre-tensioned or the tension taken out of. And here, for an example, is a re-re-tensioned or ready tension bar, if that makes sense. Let's get that back in position. So, yeah, that's this is off a new re re into position, and as you can see, it's already got that angle ready. So, that'll be why that part split. Um, I'll bring you over, show you quickly how well everything came up, and that'll be it for a while until all the new parts arrive. So here's the rest of the back end. Uh, these came out pretty well, although I think they were over tightened and they've cracked and split. So I have a pair of those new old stock coming from Switzerland, they're on their way. Um, everything else has come up so well. Got all the silicon off the motor, the gears, nothing's been run, like it was literally built, half built, and then the guy, I think he came into a couple of difficulties, mainly the last part in the instructions was this, putting these in, and I think he broke that part and gave up. Um, one of those was damaged, which I mentioned previously, uh, and they put chemical metal in and tried to redrill it. I actually ordered a new set, which just came the other day from America, and there they are here. And what I couldn't believe when I opened it up, the guy who sent it me had a spare right hand arm upright which was that one that i needed and he just happened to throw it in so i've now got a complete set that i don't need um so yeah that's about it really uh what else yeah i've taken i've stripped these down further because i've ordered the rubbers for those uh i've ordered the o-ring repair kit that you can get i don't know how successful it'll be for these so rather than siliconing these in like the instructions say you can actually put o-rings in to seal them um, so I've got that as well so there's that those new bits and um, some other odds and sods coming but essentially I'll be able to get started on it pretty soon so yeah really can't wait at the moment but I want to wait for it all to come so. that's it thanks for watching see ya